Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Iceblade here for another YouTube video. Today we're doing a review and unboxing of a hard drive enclosure. So, if you've been looking at hard drive enclosures, did some really good research on this and luckily for me, one of my friends owned one of these and they are extremely good. The one I have here is a transparent one because you could see the internals, man, that's what you want, right? No, you do get them in different colors. And this is for USB 3 and it is actually for your smaller drives like SSDs. Uh, going to pop in this one I salvaged out of a laptop. So, they do the 2.5, it's not going to run on your big hard drives. For that one I have a different one, but for the smaller drives this is nice, it's small. If we look at the back here, you get your cover, you get USB 3 connectivity, it has a LED light showing you that it's working, and it just plugs into SATA. So so it's SSD or HDD 2.5s, 2.5s. So let's go see what's going on here. They have like a plastic wrap around the whole thing, but it's not big plastic. It's just like a nice protective layer. And then you have a box that goes magic. Whoop, whoop. It's like magic. You see it? I know uh, nothing else in there. It's nice. And then we have our transparent drive hiding in there. So nice and small and thin. And the nice things of these enclosures is that you can pop in any drive here. If you have a big SSD, this is going to be flying fast backups that you can run from here. Or like with my case here, you just pop in an old laptop hard drive and uh, they run should have some more stuff though okay we got our connector plugins looks like the standard one you get with all the new externals and then you've got your thanks for choosing oracle we love to hear from you so they will hear from us you can contact them on facebook they got twitter they got youtube so it looks they got a website on here we'll go and stalk them there and just tell them about our little review we did the rest is just a small pamphlet just saying what's in the box You've got a hard drive enclosure, the main body, you got a data cable, you got a user manual, and then you got a thanks card. And it just shows you how it opens, but it's very easy. This just slides open. It is called a new no tool enclosure. So you don't need tools to put in the hard drive here. It basically will just slip back, you pop in that sucker. And then it's good to go. Okay, so let's just see if it's as easy as they say it is. So it has some plastic wrapping on here just to protect it's all clear plastic, but I'm not going to remove that now. So they say it just slides off. And it does. Then we're just going to pop in our laptop hard drive. Seems to just press in, presses down. It's really nice and tight, actually. Really tight. Okay, and then it's supposed to just slide back. So let's see. And it does. And it clips in at the pop. There you go. External hard drive done and dusted. Very easy enclosure, no tools needed, 
slide back, slide forward. Now you can remove the plastics if you want to. I'm just going to leave that on there for a bit. Extra protection. But there you go. It's in, it's fast, it's easy. Get your cable. Just pop it in there, plug it into your system. I'll do that uh, now just to run a couple of tests, see how it does. But currently it's looking good. It's doing what it said it's going to do. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So our review on our external enclosure is finished. There's not much you could actually do. It runs at USB 3 and that is exactly what we want. Nice speed. So like I said, pop in a SSD, it's flying. What I use it for now is it's brilliant for cloning SSD drives. So when you basically upgrading a laptop especially those all-in-one systems you know the ones with the screen and then the whole computer is in that screen they don't have different um, hard drive base so they normally just have one hard drive now the some of the laptops even the new ones but I mean the older laptops had the HDDs the 2.5s but you can upgrade that laptop by just popping in an SSD there. It makes a huge difference. Same with those all-in-one systems. Uh, just like SSD, it flies. But now if you don't want to do all the formatting and reloading of windows and drivers and everything uh, to do with that process, cloning the drive just makes so much sense. It saves you a bunch of time and it's safe I mean it's not that you have to have the same type of drives you can do it from the 3.5 HDDs the 2.5 HDDs to an SSD it clones it doesn't even notice that you swap the drives at the end of the process it just believes that that thing was there all the time so that is what I use the USB 3 for because you need speed when you're doing that process uh, otherwise you're going to be cloning for days so the USB 3 helps there uh, it's good and then also the whole system is so easy just sliding the node tool setup brilliant so I do cloning when I have to assist someone with that process or upgrading a system with the SSD or upgrading a SSD system with a bigger SSD. Uh, I use that for cloning. It's just brilliant. So also after that you just pop in whatever you had there and you use it for backup. So there's nothing bad I can say about this product currently the price is awesome it's close to free actually and the quality is really good uh, they have a lot of different products in the data storage category they actually have flash memories and power supplies and PC peripherals and lifestyle accessories and blah 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 but the one we having it's somehow on the front page man on our translucent 2.5 inch housings you get 3.5 inch housings you get the M SATA enclosures the M2 SATA enclosures and the NVMe M2 housings I don't know else what to say guys get it go get it it's good it's worth it if you do any type of cloning if you want to assist anybody in cloning this is the way to go if you want to make backups this is perfect for it if you want to reclaim some old hard drives from laptops like I did great for backup you pop it in you do your backups you take it out you leave that drive in a safe somewhere and that way you don't lose valuable information or sensitive information or maybe like family photos and uh, videos and stuff I have lost family photos like that where they actually stole my laptop and they also stole my 
backup external drive. So I've learned now. So what I do is I pop it into that, make a backup and put that small hard drive in my safe. So that's that for the review, guys. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to push uh, some videos out, see where we take this channel. And please hit and comment and go insane because that's the only way how us small chuberchis how we get seen because we don't get seen in the search results or on front pages or all that so only if we get a lot of likes if we get a lot of comments and stuff like that so please assist us man it doesn't cost you anything just hit that like button and we can get on some more videos thanks for watching guys enjoy